Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's starting! <laughs> hey guys, you're watching Simon and Lonely. My name is AJ. Welcome to Let's Build a City, the highly anticipated series that I'm so excited to play. If you missed it, on the first of the month, I uploaded a video showing uh, a lot of. Ah, it's raining! No, oh, that's a terrible start! <laughs> I uploaded a video showing you all the cars. Well, these aren't even all the cars that we can drive. These are just some of the cars that we can actually drive around the map. I showed the helicopters and planes that we can actually fly around the map. I showed the map and how I made the map and what programs I used for it, the road layout, everything. If you haven't seen that, I highly recommend going to check that out because it's going to really help you understand the whole premise and idea behind this series. So not only are we going to be building the entire city, all the skyscrapers and all the buildings, I mentioned the idea of potentially making this into a multiplayer server at the end uh, that we can all come on and chill out on and jump in cars together and have fun shooting each other. And uh, everybody seemed to really enjoy that idea. So in that video, I said that there's a few things that I want to add in addition to that before the series starts. Well, I've got it. I've got it all set up now. It's all ready to go 100%. As you can see in the top right-hand corner above my head now, I have a map. This is Ray's mini-map. All of the mods that I'm using are in the description below. There isn't really that many mods. It's just like the planes, the guns, the map, and a mod that I'm going to show you in a minute. I, I don't want to go with modded blocks. I don't want to have that kind of stuff. All the blocks that I've got in the game are just retextures of the vanilla texture pack. But yeah, that's really cool. We can even make the map bigger. It shows you which point, which way we're pointing. Because let's be fair, what free roam game like Grand Theft Auto or Far Cry or whatever, they all have mini maps. You've got to be able to see sort of roughly where you are on the map. And I really like that. We can even uh, zoom in on the map as well. It's really, really cool how you can do that. Go right in. And it'll change depending on the time of day as well. So if it goes night time, the map goes dark. Very, very cool. But what's this in my hand? This is the NPC wand. Uh, if you guys watched the Let's Build Springfield series, you'll know that we use the NPC wand just to make sort of dead AI. Basically, you can make a character and you can reskin him, you can rename him. And uh, we just use it to basically put on the skin of The Simpsons and just bring a little bit of life to, this, uh, to Springfield world. However, I've gone to the next level for this map, which I'm going to show you in a moment. In, this is a very powerful tool that not only allows you to choose what texture you want, but you can choose stats, uh, how they attack, what they do at night time. It's at, you can choose what uh, they want to drop when they die and what percentage of chance. You can put stuff in their hand, you can put armor on them, and some stuff that we're going to get into a little bit later on. Well, in fact, right now, I've gone so in-depth with this that there's so much that I want to talk about. I don't know if I'm going to be able to answer all the questions that you guys are going to have, but hopefully I'm going to do it in a way that I'm not going to miss anything. So in this raised minimap mod, we also get waypoints that we can teleport to. So literally under the ground where I am now, I have a little room set up where I have some NPCs. Let's start off with the policemen. Oh, they're all green. Let me just... Uh make them their right colors as you can see the policeman is blue each uh, each person has their or each type of civilian or person in the world has their own color associated with them which i'm going to explain why later on so as you can see the policeman is holding a gun here uh, i've programmed it so if if a npc actually has a gun if they do shoot it it'll make the correct sound for that gun using the flans mod uh, that we have installed on here for all the guns uh, which is really, really cool. Now, if you normally, they have basically frozen the NPCs so they can't move anywhere at the moment. But if you had them on the surface of the world and they were just wandering around as, as a policeman would, if you walk past him, he'll be fine to you. In fact, you can speak to him. He'll, he'll talk to you and, and, and say multiple things uh, above his head. Really, really cool. But if you upset him, for example, giving him a punch or shooting him with a, with a weapon from close or afar... He'll actually do what a real cop would do and get angry. He'll start shooting back at you. He'll start saying, need backup, uh, assistance required, that's assault. Really, really cool. I've spent hours. <laughs> I've spent hours programming it all. Uh, it really, really cool. And when he, if he does end up uh, dying, he'll have a percentage chance to drop his gun, uh, his, weapon, uh, his gun, his ammo for the weapons, and currency i have set up a full economy 
in this world here with coins and everything. Just to give it that, that I really want to bring a load of life to this. And having money in the world really does bring that to life. So there's the policeman there. Firefighter and the paramedic are the same. They say stuff to you. And uh, the uh, paramedic will even trade uh, medkits with you for three golden coins. I'll get more into the economy later on. If you upset these guys by, by giving them a punch, they won't shoot back at you because they don't have a gun. They're unarmed. Instead, they'll actually run away. They'll try and get away from you, and they'll be shouting, Call the cops! I'm unarmed! I need help! It's really, really funny. This is where it starts getting really interesting, though. I've got some criminals here. So I've got some just hoodie skins that I found on skindex.com. And... Uh, for example, this, this criminal here has an AK-47. Uh, I've actually programmed it so this gun will fire faster than the pistols do. You know, the pistols are like a pew, pew, pew. But the uh, assault rifle, as it's a automatic gun, fires a lot faster. Again, it has the sound correct to it. So you actually hear some really cool sounds going on in the world. And this guy's just got a knife there because I thought we don't want them all having guns. But what's interesting about the criminals and the policemen is that they're on different sides, obviously. They're on different sides of teams. If a criminal and a policeman see each other, they'll automatically fight. If they're just wandering around the world aimlessly, you know, just, just doing their thing, but they come across each other, when they get into a certain range of each other, they'll actually start attacking each other. It's so cool. I've done some tests on the top world here and just watched them for a little bit, and everybody was just chilling out and mingling fine, and then they got a little bit too close to each other, and they were like, oh, criminal, oh, policeman, pow, 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 pow. And obviously, as soon as the policeman hit one of the criminals, all the other criminals in the area came to help their friend out and started shooting at them too. It was really, really fun. Really, really cool. Civilians, just normal guys. They don't have any weapons. Um, if they do uh, get killed, they have a percentage chance to drop their phone, which is quite interesting. Phone and money. They've all got their own money. Bronze, silver, and gold coins uh, is what I have here, and I'll explain more about that in a minute. Um, but yeah, that's really, really cool. And then we've got some traders in this sort of light blue color. These are people that we can put into shops or buildings and stuff like that. Uh, because I want to be able to go into at least some of the buildings. Like in Grand Theft Auto, you can't go into all of them. Because, let's be honest, if we could go into every single building in, in this Minecraft world, it would take forever to build. Especially in a skyscraper, it takes forever to do each floor. So I want to be able to just go into some of the buildings... Like in Grand Theft Auto and stuff like that, where you can just go into some of the shops and things to, to bring a little bit more life to that. So we've got a weapons trader. He'll actually trade um, your currency for certain weapons, like uh, ammunition, for example, from, from Grand Theft Auto and, and other uh, similar sort of style games. So I've got a selection of, of weapons there. I've got a pawnbroker here. He'll actually buy phones off you, and you'll grab an iron coin out of it. So if you do get one, it's not a complete waste because they don't do anything. I've got coin exchanger. This is where the... I'll explain the economy. We've got uh, bronze or copper, what are they called? Yeah, bronze, silver, and gold coins. Ten bronze coins equals one silver coin. Ten silver coins equals one gold coin. I kept it nice and simple. I didn't want it to be complicated. If you do it in like stacks of ten, it makes it really, really easy. So if you had 30 copper or 30 bronze coins, it's the equivalent of one gold coin. So you can trade up your weapons here. We can stick him inside of a bank. Like if we, when we build a bank, because obviously we'll be building a bank, we can stick those guys inside and you'll be able to trade up your money with him. Very, very cool. We've got extras. This will be uh, sort of along with the gun guy. You can put um, attachments on your guns, scopes and silencers and body armor and stuff like that. And we've got a food vendor. Now these foods are just reskin textures of other foods. So I think cola is just a... Uh, I just redone it on, on Photoshop. Now I'm not the best person to do like pixely stuff uh, i do really like the kfc bucket but i did bit, uh, draw all of these from scratch in photoshop they have the same stats as the foods that they're equivalented to so this cola is an apple i think the sandwich is bread um i think we've got like pumpkin pie uh beef is the burger uh, pork chop and something else. I can't quite remember what they are, but yeah And then you can buy them in stacks of 32 as well because you're not going to want to keep coming back to to keep yourself 
hungry. But I really like that KFC bucket, man. I think that's pretty good for a little pixel art. And then finally, I've got an ATM machine, which is just a retextured um, ender chest. I just thought that would be pretty interesting. Putting, you can put anything in there, but especially coins and money you're going to want to store away in your ATM machine. It's so, so cool. So let's go above ground for a moment here. Uh, spawn. There we go. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a tool here which allowed me to actually save the created NPCs down below so I don't have to make them from scratch every time. So, for example, if I put down a policeman here, and if I go into him, you can see he's got a 5% chance to drop his ammo. He's got a 7% uh, chance to drop his uh, weapon. And then he's got a percentage chance to drop a certain amount of, uh, of coins. 1, 10, 15, and 30. So there's a pretty high chance. Uh, in addition to these percentage, they can actually stack up. So if you get really lucky, he might end up dropping all of these. If you get sort of lucky, he might end up dropping, like, I don't know, ammo and a couple of coins. If you're really unlucky, he might only drop one thing or nothing at all. So that's really cool. Um, this is the faction side of things. So I've got civilians who are just neutral. I've got criminals, but these guys are going to be hostile towards the police. The police are going to be hostile towards criminals. Services uh, aren't uh, are like the services are paramedic and firefighters, so they don't have anything. And traders uh, don't have any beef with anybody either. But uh, traders and criminals and policemen, when you attack them, if there's any other people in the area, they'll come and help you out. Uh, or they'll come and help the person that they're sort of in the same faction with. So, let's get down a policeman here. Oh my god, look at these freaky legs. And let's get down a couple of criminals. We'll have that one. And we'll have this one. And let's put another policeman down. And let's just check it out. This is so, so cool, man. It might be loud in my ears. I hope it's not going to be too loud. Uh, they are green by default. As soon as the game sort of updates and realizes what faction they're in, the colors will change. So let's unfreeze them all. He dropped his gun. Wow, I've never seen that. I must admit. Oh, he took them both out. So um, there's a there's a certain range that they'll be hostile towards, which is why they're not attacking the guy on the right anymore. I can increase that. That's the, like the aggro range. Uh, I can increase that to a, a larger distance if I want. I can also change how often they respawn. At the moment, for me testing, I've got it on five seconds. Every five seconds, they'll respawn back. But uh, obviously, in the long run, you would want it a lot longer than that. As you can see, they're also taught so loud you can also see that they're chatting in the comments here or in the in the chat they're you know talking to each other saying how much of a mistake they've made and how they're going down and everything like that but anyway let's let's change this because that's really that um, there we go oh, peace and quiet but beautiful. So let's wander around. Let's see what, what what they dropped out of that stuff. Oh, we got some coins here. We even got the 1%. That's the first time that I've ever had the 1% chance as well of the gold coin. So there we go. So we've got uh, one gold, two silver, and six bronze. I wonder what this would allow us to buy in the shop. Let's go and have a quick look. I just want to remove these guys so they don't wander off into the abyss somewhere never to be seen again. How did you get up here? Did I spawn him up here? Oh, did I spawn a civilian and not a criminal? Ah, that might have been what I done. Let's drop them down. Oh, let's drop into here. Oh, yeah, and they've been shooting down here as well because obviously there's a cop and civilians down here, which is quite funny. Uh, what could we get from the weapons trader with what we got? Oops, we could get oh, some Molotov cocktails. We could get a uh, Desert Eagle. No, we couldn't get a Desert Eagle. We haven't quite got enough money. Wow, you all want to go and see him, do you? Everybody, all the NPCs want to go there. We could get some ammo. Awesome, that's pretty cool. Uh, and we can even trade down the currency as well. Uh, let's put everyone back in position. We could even uh, make our currency smaller if we wanted to buy some cheaper food. We could go to the coin exchange and we could trade down our coins and get the equivalent in bronze. But anyway, that's enough talking about that. I want to now move on to some of the locations that I want to build certain things around the map. So I've got a set to spawn here. That's because 
behind here, I want to have a really nice, large cathedral. Like on the first Let's Build the City series, I want this to be a, a, a real standout piece, a nice big church with a nice graveyard. I don't know what else I want around the side here, maybe a nice sort of tree line or something like that. I've got a lot of ideas. I love building cathedrals and churches in Minecraft. Um, and I want it to be a real big awe inspiring one. So that's what I want to do there. I also want to split this road up a little bit. I actually want to move these two lanes over to the left a little bit. Because I want trees going down the middle. This is sort of the, the main starting road. And I'd just, I'd just like to be slightly apart. Just on this section with some trees. That, I hit my headphones. With some trees down the middle. Just an idea that's going through my head there. In this spot here I want the city hall. I might even swap them around. I might have the city hall in that one and the cathedral in this one. Not 100% sure yet. Um, but yeah, nice big city hall there with two parks on either or one park on either side of the city hall. I've got townhouses down here. So these are the kind of houses that are very thin and they're packed like next to each other. So they're, they're, they're combined. What are they called? I can't remember what they're called. When the houses are like attached houses, you know what I mean. A row of houses, very thin style, um, with like stairs that go up to the uh, the door, uh, with like little balconies. I'm sure you've seen them, sort of very very inner city houses. They've got to be very small so you can fit more of them in. Uh, usually very expensive as well because they're so close to the middle of the city. Uh, so we've got things like a, a nightclub down here, a hair salon down there. I've sort of got a, an idea of what I want on Photoshop, which is why I'm looking over here. I want a fuel station and car wash uh, built into this section. The really cool thing about these cars is I'm on creative mode, so I can just drive them around. But when you're in survival, you actually need to put fuel in the cars. Very, very cool. Fuel here. This is the fuel uh, for, these, for these cars here. So you, you stick those in, and, uh, and then you can go a certain distance with the fuel... And you'll actually see it run out. I think there's even a gauge if you sit in the car. Let's get in the Lamborghini Hurricane here. Um, and if I hit R, fuel. Yeah, you got your fuel tank. So you'd, you'd put the fuel into this spot. And then the fuel would slowly drop down the longer that you were in it. Really, really cool. So being able to fill up with fuel is like a really sort of uh, cool idea. Uh, a cafe on the corner here. This is going to be the main beach line here. Uh, although the beach sort of wraps all the way around. I want this area to be the sort of main prominent sort of beach front with all the sort of cafes and restaurants and stuff around this area i want a nice uh uh oh yeah the uh, mechanic on the corner here car mechanic that'll be a really cool thing because again i think the cars also can get damaged as well so you'll be able to repair them at the mechanics place police station on the corner there police station is very important a gym in that sort of area there have I missed anything? Oh yeah, things like uh, lifeguard towers and stuff like that on the beach is a really cool thing. I want in this one a KFC. Seen as though that we built a, a McDonald's on the last one, I want a KFC on this one. We probably will end up building both a McDonald's and KFC on this world, to be honest. Oops, I don't want to set a waypoint. Uh, but yeah, KFC on the corner there. As it's sort of beach front sort of area, you want lots of restaurants and lots of buildings like that to keep people around the front. Oh... Oh, I do have it. I missed it. In that corner there, casino. I thought, have I got a casino? <gasps> and then I looked on the thing. Yeah, I did. I, I knew I'd thought of it. I didn't know if I'd found a place. For it. Yeah, on that corner there, I want a big casino. Definitely something that you want on a, on a beach front, isn't it? 100%. Um, maybe you've been to your beaches and they've got similar things. I know near me, uh, one of the closest beaches to me, have a sort of mini, I wouldn't really call them casino, I'd call it more of an arcade with the coin pusher machine. You always get those near the beaches and you put the coins and, and they slide back and forth. It'd be cool to sort of try and do something like that in Minecraft here. Uh, bowling alley on the corner, uh, library. Uh, oh yeah, I have got a McDonald's down. A McDonald's down over here, a post office. And then this is the location. I can't actually sprint any faster than this. I wish I could put my speed up, but I haven't installed that thing yet. Maybe I'll do that for next episode if I remember. Uh, we're starting to move into the more residential area now. Uh, not townhouses. I want normal detached 
um, houses where we can go sort of really cool with some, with some nice designs, still fitting into the sort of theme. Uh, but I want I want some really cool houses built around this section here. Really cool bridge that goes over here as well. I really love that bridge, double way bridge. Well, it's a one way, so it's two lanes in one direction, two lanes in the other, but a little gap in the middle. Sounds really cool. But yeah, mostly high, um, houses there, and I want a fire station on the corner there. Now we're getting towards the middle. I want more skyscrapers in the middle. So around the outside, it's going to be sort of smaller buildings, you know, the restaurants and the cafes and stuff like that. Maybe some taller ones like the casino. But the closer you get to the middle of the city, the taller it's going to get. So we're going to have a load of skyscrapers around here. Apartment buildings, big banks, big hotels, big cinemas. I want a multi-story car park here with cars parked in them, if possible. I want a big TV studio, you know, where you can do live TV. Uh, I think I've also got a radio station as well, but that might be up more in the mountains there. Uh, but yeah, uh, bus terminal as well, mobile phone. You know, you, you, you go into like London and stuff, you see these big like O2 uh, buildings and three mobile and stuff like that all these sort of big companies have huge skyscrapers if we do them big enough We'll even be able to write something on the side down the side of the skyscraper really really cool We'll go more into the skyscrapers next episode. We haven't got time to build anything today I just want to run through all these ideas that I've got stuck in my head at the front here uh, There's an ice rink. I want to build and a basket uh, a basketball stadium I think I want here on the last city we done a football stadium on this one. I want a basketball stadium just to make it different uh, along this sort of section why is that like that oh I know why it's like that see this here can you see this sort of circle this half circle that's where I was testing uh, rocket launchers and I fired the rocket launcher just to see what would happen and uh, it went out of my shot I had no idea where it, it, la it landed until a little while later when I was flying around the map I found the biggest hole you have ever seen in your life <laughs> on the middle of the beach here and that's obviously where the <laughs> rocket had landed uh, but down here I want a power plant uh, probably like a nuclear power plant the last city we done wind power uh, so I want something a little bit maybe coal power plant or nuclear I don't know it has to be able to create its own energy seeing as though we are an island we're not attached to any other land and we're also going to want some sort of uh, water purifier or you know uh, for using the ocean's water here this is a really interesting part that I want to do I want to make this into what would you call them like a not a port but like a container port so I want a big concrete area going actually out into the ocean with containers stacked up really high one of those big cranes that can pick up the the uh, containers and put them onto back of lorries and stuff like that I want big a big container ship out the front of it as well there's a lot of boats that I want to build here I want boys in this sort of area with some fishing ships out that way a uh, big container ship out this side um, but yeah, really, really cool. I want some lorries parked up. Uh, we'll have to build those because we can't drive any lorries here. At least not yet. I haven't found a mod that has lorries in them. But yeah, just container ships. Make it look like it's sort of a little bit of movement there. By the way, this is in Minecraft 1.7. I need it in 1.7 because of the mods. Okay, that's that's what the reason is there. On this bridge, this isn't in its finished state at all. Although I've got, you know posts and stuff holding it up to make it look really really cool uh, I want this section that's going over the water to be very suspension bridge style so I want to have some really think of like Golden Gate bridge style thing and with this bridge here I want to make this bridge look like it would be able to move up and down do you know what I mean like like uh, what, what do you call them like a split bridge draw bridge what are they called split bridge I can't remember the actual name I've got some random blocks underneath there as well uh, oops Ooh, go up in the sky. That's it. So yeah, that'll be able to move up and down and I want in this area some sort of uh, like private not speedboat But I want like a yacht small one a small one there on the other side Oh, I did forget to mention on the other side there. There's a little road that pokes out I want a big mansion on there with its own private dock with a speedboat and a nice lot sort of larger Private yacht there as well. I want a lot of boats in the water I think there's even an oil rig that I want to build out in the water as well 
let's come over to this side. We've done all the skyscrapers and stuff like that. I know this is a little bit of a sort of, well, it's not too long of an episode. I know we haven't built anything, but this is the kind of series that really does need uh, a good introduction so everyone knows what they're doing. By the way, if I don't mention something that you guys think of, put it in the comment section below. Don't say it yet because we're not quite through the tour. But if at the end of the episode I have missed something, let me know. Uh, over here, uh, this part of the island might be extended. I can weld it to make it a little bit more uh, of a larger area, but I want a race track. Obviously, we've got these cars. It would be really cool to be able to have uh, a race track that you can actually race around with some sort of lap counter or something like that. That would be really cool. Uh, there are, obviously, as well, car parks spread out. Uh, I, I mentioned the multi-story one, but I want, like, other car parks spread around the map as well more houses down here and this is where the hospital is going to be so that's the third service they're nicely spread out around the map then i really like that uh, i want to have an observatory i think on here observatory there i want to have on this flat area you sort of weave your way up the mountain here this took forever to do but i'm glad i got it done on this flat area here i want to have a prison so the prison is actually going to be separate to the police station, unlike the uh, the last Let's Build the City series. Really cool tunnel here. I want to dress that up to look really smart at the moment. It's just a hole through the ground. But this will go up to a, uh, a golf course, I think I want up here. I want a golf course up there. But there'll also be a sort of walkway path that leads up the mountain. I'm going to make this mountain even taller. I think I want to go up to about here or something like that. And I want to have some snow. Uh, I want to snow cap the mountain and have like snow coming down it for uh, ice. Well, no, there's snow skiing. That's the word skiing. I also want a sky lift chair lift that sort of goes down to maybe around that area or something like that. You know, from the top of the mountain and it goes down. That would be a really cool look for that. And then on this flat area over here, which does uh, have its own road that wiggles up around that sort of area, is going to have an airport. So it's uh, going to be hope maybe a single runway, maybe a double runway. Either way, I'm actually going to have to make this longer because it's not quite long enough for a runway to go in. I want it being from like there to there. You know, facing that way, facing north, because if we faced it from, like, east to west or west to east, uh, we've got, like, mountains in the way. And I don't like that. I want to be able to sort of have the, uh, have a nice clear landing and clear takeoff for the planes. But that does mean extending that. No problem with world edit. That won't take long at all. Uh, over this side, on this mountain, I want to have uh, a space center with a rocket ship. And uh, I don't know, I haven't really got any plans for this side. I've got this sort of tiny little beach I put in here. But I don't really have any plans for, for stuff there. Maybe just some walkways and some, like, tracks, you know, walking tracks, you know, where people walk their dog along the beach and that kind of thing. But, yeah, that's the sort of idea. Yeah, I think here is where I want the, uh, the space center. A little bit sort of up the hill a little bit away from the rest of the city because that's obviously a smart idea oh and what did i did i have anything planned here i i did have something planned here but i can't see it what was it i can't remember what it was there i can't see it on my picture unfortunately but i've got something planned there as well that's gonna do it though for the first episode of let's build a city i know we didn't get anything built i never planned to get anything built i wanted to go through the npcs mod and um sort of get you guys excited about that because that's really cool having a load of npcs walking around and uh and being able to interact with them and each npc does a different thing and they say different things and and that kind of stuff and i wanted to sort of get you guys uh give you guys an idea on where certain buildings are going to go so you guys can let me know if there's anything that i've missed i think i've covered 99 percent of sort of buildings that i i, I really want to add but maybe you've gone, AJ, how how have you forgotten about this? And then you can let me know. And I can go, ah, I forgot about that. Yeah, and we can add it in. It'll be There's loads of space left over. All those buildings that I mentioned um, aren't going to like completely fill up the map. There's going to be a lot of green space, especially in these areas. I've actually got nothing planned in these areas here. So uh, you guys are going to have to be creative about that. Parks and car parks will fill up a lot of the area uh that we we can't really fit anything into like you don't really want any building there because it's right next to the incline to the motorway there's no real access to it so that'd be a, a sort of nice sort of wooded area for people to walk around as sort of a casual maybe even hide paintball zone well we might even have a paintball zone who knows i don't know 
But anyway, if you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. I really do appreciate it, especially on a new series like this. If you haven't already, then you have to be sure to subscribe because you are going to be missing out if not. And we shall see you in the next episode. <laughs> Let's jump in the convertible before I say bye. Boop.